Okay, fifth grade, lesson 11, and this is on story problems um, about combining. Okay, now, in math, whenever you come to a problem um, that has a story with it, okay, you have to listen very carefully to what type of story it is, okay? And in this situation, what you're learning about today is problems that have, for example, I have some money, then I have some more, it equals my total amount, okay? So for example, I had $15, and then I had $5 more, how much do I have total? You would say 20, right? Okay? Now, what if I asked you this? What if I said, I had $15, and then somebody gave me some money, some more, and now I have 20. How much did that person give me? Five, okay? And we would do that. Remember how we have a missing number and I would have an M right there? Remember we did this the other day? And you would have to figure out what that M is, right? Mm -hmm. Remember doing that? Okay? And so we would have to figure that out. Now we know that that's five based on the one we did a while ago. Okay, let's try another one, okay? Listen to the story and tell me where our numbers go. Okay, listen. The troop hiked eight miles in the morning. So I'm just gonna write a number eight miles. M-I means for miles. The troop hiked eight miles in the morning and seven miles in the afternoon. So eight miles in the morning, seven miles in the afternoon. All together, how many miles did the troop hike? Okay, so what am I going to do, Eli? Add them. Okay, so I'm going to go, okay, they walked eight miles in the morning. That's my sum, sum of, sum of my amount. Plus, they walked seven more miles in the afternoon. So what would my total amount altogether be? Uh, eight. Well, we know eight and eight is 16, 15. so we take away one fifteen. Very good. So he walked 15 miles altogether. Or the truth did, right? All right, let's try another one, okay? This one may be a little different, so pay attention, Eli. After Jamal paid Hannah $120 rent, Jamal paid Hannah $120 rent. Now Hannah has $645. I'm just going to write down some key numbers. This is what they paid for rent and what she now has. Okay? How much money did Hannah have before Jamal paid Hannah for rent? Okay, let me show you how to write this. Okay? We're going to learn how to write this equation. Okay, so the question is, how much money did Hannah have before Jamal paid Hannah for rent? Okay, so basically she had some money, but we don't know how much. So I'm going to put an S for some. Okay, you see that? This one, Eli, we don't know how much money she had before he paid rent. So she had some money, but we don't know how much. Okay, but then how much money did she receive for rent? Um, 120. Okay, so then she had $120 given to her for rent. And then it says, Hannah now has $645. So, as you can see, okay, this is my equation. Do you see this equation, Eli? Mm -hmm. Something plus 120 equals 645. So this is what the total amount she has, okay? But she had some money before she got paid rent. Okay, so how am I going to figure this out? Uh, just write it out, and then... Well, help me out. Oh, don't you add them together? Yes, you're going to add them together. Why? Because remember, when we have a missing number, Eli, when we have a missing... Look, look at me, Eli. When we have a missing add-end, okay, you're not going to add them together. And let me tell you why, okay? Because remember, I told you to look at the biggest number. Mm -hmm. You're going to get to do a bunch of problems in a minute, okay? So I just need you to focus right now.
okay? So what you're going to do is just look at the biggest number, okay? So do I need a bigger number here or a smaller number here to then add plus 120 to get this? A uh, bigger? Okay. Well, if I have a bigger number than 645, let's say I had 700, and I put 700 here, and then I added 120, would I get that number? No. No, it would be too big, wouldn't it? So, I actually need a smaller number, don't I? Okay, do you see that? I need a smaller number than this because then I'm going to add 120 to this number. So, I need something smaller. How do I get smaller? Add or, or subtract? Subtract. subtract. Very good. So we're going to track, subtract these two numbers. Okay, so watch me. Okay, 645 minus 120. Okay, and then we're going to perform the problem. Okay, I'm going to make this equal 645 down here. Okay, so let's try it. If I have, have, five, if I have five apples and I take away nine, I still have five. If I have four and I take away two, I have two. If I have six apples, take away one, I have five. So, how much money did she have in the beginning before Jamal paid her for rent? She had 500 She had, let's check it, $525. Well, does this make sense to you? $525 plus $120, would that equal about $645? Yeah, okay, it would. So let's just check it, $525 plus $120. Let's see if it does equal that 645. 2 plus 2, 4. 5 plus 1, 6. Very good. Okay? You see how we worked that problem and how we did it? Okay? She had some money, but it didn't tell us how much. But then she got paid some more, and then it gave us an amount of 645 that she has. You see how we set up this equation? Those are called equations. You're going to have to learn how to do that. Okay? All right. One more problem. Cheryl counted 18 flowers, I'm just writing down the important information, in the garden before the sun rose up. So she looked out, counted 18 flowers before the sun rose up. After the sun rose, more flowers budded. Did it tell us how much? Nope. Okay. And then Cheryl counted 98 flowers. How many flower buds opened after the sun rose? So, let's write down, okay, so she counted 98 flowers after the sun rose. So, we have some amount plus some more equals the total. Help me figure out where these numbers go. Okay, so listen. Cheryl counted 18 flowers in the garden before the sun rose. So which one? Some? Um, yes. Okay. That's our sum. Okay. And then it says, after the sun rose, more flowers budded. Did it tell us how many? Nope. I'm just going to put an M for more. Okay. Or an F for flowers. We don't know how many flowers budded, but some did. Okay, so some more, and then it says, then Cheryl counted, after the sun rose, then Cheryl counted 98 flowers total. You see how we did that? Okay, now, so this is our problem, that we have to figure out how many more budded um, after the sun rose, because now there is a total of 98 when she looked out. You see? Okay. So help me. How am I going to figure this out? Uh, you just like minus 18 out of 98. You're exactly right. Okay. Anytime you have a missing add-ins, you're going to subtract. Okay. But if you don't automatically know that, remember this rule. Let's look at the biggest number and ask ourselves, do we need a bigger number here or a smaller? If we had a bigger number than that, and then we added 18 to it, will it give us that? No. So we need a smaller number than this to go here, so that when we add 18 to it, it makes us have this number. So we need smaller, so what do we do? Subtract. Subtract. So exactly what we would do. 98, take the two numbers we have. 98 minus 18. 8 minus 8 is 0. 9 minus 1 is 8. So how many budded? 80 did. Okay? Does that make sense? 
does 80 plus 18, is that going to give us 98? Yes, it will. So because we know that it makes sense, we know we've done it right. See that? All right. That is lesson 11.